Hello everyone. Our job for today is investigating a VLAN implementation. We got a addressing table in this activity. We will observe how broadcast traffic is forwarded by the switches, when VLANs are configured and when VLANs are not configured. Part 1. Observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Step 1. Ping from PC1 to PC6. The pings were not successful, because PC1 is on a different VLAN than PC6, which won't allow these devices to communicate with each other, because they are separated logically. S3 sent the packet to PC4, because it was on the same VLAN as PC1. Step 2. Ping from PC1 to PC4. The pings were successful, because PC1 and PC4 both belong to VLAN 10, so the path of the ARP request is the same as before, because PC4 is the destination, it replies to the ARP request, PC1 is then able to send the ping with the destination MAC address for PC4. Because PC7 also belonged to VLAN 10 and the ARP requests was for VLAN 10, switches will forward to any devices that are connected to VLAN 10 in their port. Part 2. Observe broadcast traffic without VLANs. Step 1. Clear the configurations on all three switches and delete the VLAN database.
The VLAN file is stored in flash VLAN.dat. Step 2, Reload the switches. Step 3. Click Capture or Forward to send ARP requests and pings. Part 3. Complete Reflection Questions Question 1. One PC in VLAN 10 sends a broadcast message, all end devices on VLAN 10 except itself, will receive it. Question 2. One PC in VLAN 20 sends a broadcast message, all end devices on VLAN 20 except itself, will receive it. Question 3. One PC in VLAN 30 sends a broadcast message, all end devices on VLAN 30 except itself, will receive it. Question 4. The frame will be dropped. Question 5. Each port is a separate collision domain. Question 6. The broadcast domains are divided by the number of VLANs in the switch. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.